Forget about acquisition. Acquisition is tertiary. The primary goal of lifting. Use it quickly. Oh, fire! Be Let your mind be Holy God's fire! It's called the power of words. This is a kingdom that operates by words. This is a kingdom that is voice activated. Dominion in this kingdom is voice activated. The power of words. This is where the ministry of prayer and the ministry of prophetic declaration comes. The ministry of prayer falls under this ordinance of words. The ministry of prophetic declarations and decrees falls under the ordinance of words. There is no true dominion in silence. Words have to be captured for dominion to be established. Hallelujah. Now please look up. If words are that important as far as activating and establishing dominion is concerned, you now see why things like prayerlessness are a disaster. That if you are not prayerful, you will destroy your, your life and your destiny and sabotage your potentials for walking in dominion. Hallelujah. Genesis chapter 1 and verse 3, And God said, words, And God said, Let there be, and there was. Ecclesiastes chapter 8 and verse 4, we're looking at the fourth ordinance. The Bible says, where the word of a king is, there is power. Say, I am royalty. One more time, say, I am royalty. That means your words should not be without power, but there has to be words first before power. Where the word of a king is. Some of you, as you said, I'm royalty. The devil said, even you, you better say it again. Say, I'm royalty. Because... When you say I'm royalty, this, 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 some of this, the way some of us have suffered and we've been defeated by Satan, you know, he just tempts you and says, you better don't say that. Those who have power are saying it. And you who just came to church for the first time, you are also saying you are royalty. Yes, sir. If he talks to you like that, tell him it is written is greater than what I'm hearing. I've told you. You don't have to feel like royalty to say you are royalty. The baby who is born from a royal palace, the baby does not even know that he or she is royalty, but it does not change the fact anyway. Are we together? Mm. He has made us unto our God kings and priests. I wanted to say, say you are a king, but if you say you are a king, ladies, if you say you are a queen, somebody will say queen of the coast, and that's why I said say royalty. <laughs> You're not queen of any coast. You are royalty. Seated with Christ. Listen to me. In the realm of the spirit, there is no male declaration or female declaration. There is no male prayer or female prayer. Are we together? There is only prayer that works or prayer that does not work. Watch this. The Bible says in Job 22 and 28, we are still looking at the power of words. Thou shalt also decree a thing, the Bible declares, and it shall be established unto thee. Who is the thee? The thee who made the decree. Not just he who was watching as they were making. Thou shalt decree a thing. Please, I want you to understand that the dynamics of dominion demands that there must be words. There must be words. That is why the assignment of depression is to bring you to a point of silence where you cannot speak. What is wrong? I know God can do it. That means close my door, go out of there. But for someone, even with no money in your pocket, you will declare, walking in abundance, moving with the speed of the Holy Ghost. I am faithful. I am walking in abundance, moving with the speed of the Holy Ghost. I am faithful. In the name of Jesus Christ, words. 
write this down please in mark chapter 11 when you read from verse 12 to 14 and then you go to 20 to 24 just write it for reference mark 11 12 to 14 and then 20 to 24 this was when jesus came and saw a fig tree that had leaves but no fruit and he cursed it and said no man eateth of you again hallelujah and then remember from that according to mark's account he went to flog people in the temple and then when they returned back by the morrow they found out that the tree was withered and they said master you said this and it has happened and he began to speak to them he said if thou shalt say to this mountain be ye lifted and cast yonder into the sea and believe with thy heart that that which you have said will come to pass you shall have it is that true and then it says what things soever ye desire when ye pray believe that thou receivest it and thou shalt have it james chapter 5 the full text is from 13 to 28 but give us verse 15 just for the sake of time james chapter 5 the bible says the prayer of faith somebody say the prayer of faith that means not every prayer is answered when you begin to read from verse 15 verse 13 the bible says if any man afflicted he said let him pray most believers pray but there are prayers that do not they carry a lot of energy perhaps they carry a lot of speaking perhaps but they may never produce result back to 15 please it says the prayer of faith that is the prayer that saves that is the prayer that raises up and that is the prayer that brings intervention the prayer of faith shall save the sick and the Lord shall raise him up and if he had committed sins they shall be forgiven him the prayer of faith you know what the prayer of faith is the prayer of faith is word inspired word based prayer one more time word inspired word based prayer not emotional prayer not God have come if you keep watching me like this I will also watch you it's just the mercy of God you need at that point not answer to prayers because remember God loves you so much he gave Jesus for you but I taught you that he is bound by his word all of these sentiments we whip up in the place of prayer we think because we are touched by our own sentiments it means that God is touched no he's touched with the feelings of our infirmities but he only responds to his word that's what makes him a God of integrity that not even his feelings can change his action the father saw Jesus dying and was touched and yet did not do anything because at that point he was seen that is what makes him a God of integrity so if you think by just whipping up emotions God will somehow find a way to continue to vindicate you you may be in trouble you need knowledge you need faith the prayer of faith will save the sick will raise him up and will bring intervention most believers pray but the basis of our prayer ministry is emotions or just shouting up and down once you are not praying in tongues the next thing you should be doing is praying word-based prayers father thank you your word declares that I should come to you boldly now I have come and that in the name of Jesus I ask this and that the Bible declares what things soever I desire this is what I desire the Bible says I should not be anxious for anything I decree and declare that in the name of Jesus I reject anxiety I bring before you these petitions the Bible says in Philippians 4 and verse 6 that I should be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving I should let my request be made known father I bring before you this issue of rent I know that you are faithful I obtain wisdom to know what to do you are praying are we together but there are many people the way they pray even you who is listening to them at the other side of the fence you are just imagine and say you will even start praying and say Lord please just forgive this thing they are saying use my intercession to help them and the danger is that when God keeps showing you mercy in ignorance you will think it is the excellence of your approach that brought the result so he will leave you so that maturity can step in is why a lot of new believers pray nonsense and still get answers 
and then later god says no 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 no. you have to rise and strive remember our teaching to strive for mastery and for that pray properly are we together that prayer people pray in front of food some have food and it's wonderful but that's just to help children you are an adult you approach that way is ingratitude you have to settle down and understand how the bible look, maturity 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 if you see a child dropping five naira as offering that's fine for his age but if you see somebody who is working in an oil company holds five naira whether it's new or old dropping it you will look at him and say sir give this even to your governors the bible says they will not accept because to whom much is given much is expected god is challenging us tonight if you want to walk in dominion then we have to obtain grace from god are we together to be people of word-based prayer and word-based declaration forget about acquisition acquisition is tertiary the primary goal of lifting Use it quickly. Oh, fire. Be concentrated. Let your mind be. Holy God's fire.